She wants a lean, she want the Gucci I ride with some harness on me, I got the blue cheek Pull up in a Jeep, I put it on for a G. I want your body, give me this laptop on the front seat What's up YouTube, I am back and I am better Period, period, T-E-E So Sorry, I just got a text um, So today, what I'm about to talk about is I'm about to give y'all story time Because this this is crazy. This is an experience that has never happened to me before. And it's so embarrassing. Oh, my God. I'm about to tell y'all how I lost my last car. So, as y'all may or may not know, I had got bought my own car, my first car, by myself for the first time. And it was, it was a cute little car. It was a blue Hyundai Accent 2013. You know, it was real cute, real me, fit me real good. Me and my husband, we was driving a car trying to make some extra money or whatever and that car needed a lot of maintenance not a lot of maintenance but it needed like all new tires it needed a whole new like wheel or something i don't know it needed a new alternator at one point new battery i also had an engine oil leak somewhere um but i had my husband his dad had put us on to his mechanic because you know he'd be fixing cars for the low so he had fixed they had put the alternator in he fixed my wheel thing that i had to get fixed i don't know what it was called exactly but he fixed that for the low and i was like thank you and then he was like you know just letting you know you also got an engine leak and i'm like engine leak okay the fuck and it was the weirdest thing because i didn't take it as serious you know i didn't think like the car was gonna blow up because i have an engine leak i don't know why i didn't think that but yeah um I told him, yeah, I'm going to come back and get it fixed, but I had to wait until I got paid, paid again. So I was just, I kept on driving it with the engine leak and this weird smell started happening. It smelled like something was on fire and it, I would only smell it when I went in the car. So it was like, what the fuck is that smell? Like, I thought I was tripping. Like every time I got in the car, my anxiety was like really super high because I'm like, what is that smell? Like, am I tripping? is outside i didn't know where it was coming from and then one night i had um and keep in mind this was literally a day i think it was a day after or a day before christmas i don't remember exactly i had went to work and uh you know i was driving regular i have i have to go down this long street and then go to the freeway and get get off the first exit of the freeway and then my job is right there and um so i had pulled up into the little garage the employee garage place to park our cars or whatever and then keep in mind it's winter time so i don't think it was snowing this day but still i had pulled up and i parked i remember it so like like it was yesterday i had i was playing my music this new music that i found i was jamming and da, da, da. I kept on smelling the smell, but it wasn't as bad that day. So I'm like, you know, I'm jamming. I'm like, maybe it's okay. I'm going to get that angel leak fixed next week or whatever. And so when I pulled up into my parking spot, I was waiting. You know, I was a little early, a few minutes early. So I was waiting in my car. And my car started smoking. And at first, I didn't know it was smoking. I'm like so oblivious to this car shit, but I, I didn't know it was smoking at first. I thought it was like from the, you know, from the exhaust from the back because it was cold. No, it was literally smoking from the hood like hella. And I, I finally realized like how badly it was smoking because I could see the smoke travel along the garage. And I'm like, what the fuck? And before I could even blink, the freaking hood of the car blew up in flames turned the car off quick got my purse got my keys got my shoes and left out and it was so fucking scary y'all like i was terrified for my life and i was just like bruh and when i got out of the car i was just looking at it like wow my car is really blowing up right now like it's on fucking fire and i have heard my ass up into the hospital because we got police officers on duty you know in the hospital so i i went up to him i was like my car is on fire my car is on fire he was like what your car is on fire i'm like yes call the ambulance call call the people so we can put it out and i was parked by somebody too their car did get damaged a little bit it got melted on the side that's it they could still drive it or whatever but it was still damaged good thing i got i had insurance 
but um still yeah the le the lesson that i learned from that is if you got any type of leaks in your apartment be park it and get it fixed because i'm not gonna go that again through that again and another thing have full coverage insurance every time i don't care if the car is paid off or you make payments on i don't care have full coverage on your car so that if anything were to happen like this fucking stupid ass incident like if i have full, if i would have full coverage insurance it would have covered not only for the person's car that got damaged but my car as well they probably would have got me a rental and so i could get another car because that wasn't my fault the the lady the claiming lady, she said that's not like an at fault thing that's more of like the manufacturer's fault because cars are not supposed to blow up i was like right but i only have liability so i ain't get shit but yeah, that was like really crazy. I was just so thankful my son wasn't in the car when it happened. I was by myself actually. And it was crazy because my husband, he was supposed to take me to work that morning. So I'm glad that he didn't get up and take me to work and drop me off because my son and him would have been in the car. And I'm just, I was just, man, I was crying. People saw me outside freaking out. They're like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, Jesus was with me. For real because i could have blew up i could have died that day like it was so crazy i was literally like this close to the flames so yeah it was crazy and i was just like man and my boss she was like do you need to like go home i was like no baby like i need to work so i can get another car <laughs> i really gotta go to work for real for real because i need more money to buy a car and she was like yeah yeah so i finished my 12 hour shift you know I wasn't that mad though I was just kind of just happy my life was still was still here because man I can always get another car so but yeah that's my little story time I got for my car um and I told you my life lessons already just make sure you have full coverage insurance and I'm about I'm actually about to get a car tomorrow and I came prepared I'm I got the quote for my full coverage insurance already from progressive and I got me some AAA just in case I need to ever get towed or roadside assistance or I need a tire change or whatever. I'm going to have somebody to come and help me. because And it's only $7 a month. AAA is $7 a month right now. So if y'all, you know, if you want to be prepared for the unexpected, baby, that's what you need to do. Because that's, I'm, I'm not going through that again. Like, no, I'm not, no. And if I do go through, through it again... I'm gonna have a way different outcome than I did last time because nah, that was some bullshit right there. And then I was so like steady on like, I'm not buying a car from a private owner again. I'm not doing it. But it's not even that because even cars at the dealership, they have problems as well. And they will sell you faulty cars, you know. But that's why it just really just depends who the person is. Um but i wholeheartedly thought the person that um sold me the car i don't think he knew about the leak i think it was something that had just happened recently because ain't no way i was driving on an engine leak for that long without it blowing up you know so i when i did get the car it had a check engine light and i had to get like just something some rewires or whatever and then it was cool but yeah um that was crazy but I'm about to get another car tomorrow, so we're about to see how this goes. And it is, what, November, like, 6th or something? Yeah. I honestly, I just got off work. That's why I'm still in my scrubs, and I'm kind of tired. I work overnight, so, yeah, I'm tired. And I'm waiting for my son to get here from his grandmother's house. I really should be taking a shower right now and eating, but it's okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all need to show me some love. Like, I'm out here dropping videos back to back to back to back. Y'all need to show me some love. Like, support me. I, If you are a small YouTuber watching this, come, come to me, girl. We could collab. We could do whatever. We could do video ideas together. If you in Cleveland, because that's where I'm at, we could do videos together. Like, I have a hard time finding other females that like to do stuff like this you know i don't really have a lot of females that i'm surrounded by that like to make content and stuff like that just for fun 
I've been doing this since I was a teenager, but I'm really just now just getting into it because I, I'm trying to prioritize things that I like to do because as a mother, you can forget to do that. So yeah, that's why I've been so consistent lately. Thank you guys so much for watching. Deuces. They made that ass clap, she don't need no applause. High fashion, like Goya, G-Wagon.